Hey guys, it's Tom from Rockaway Recycling, and if you're looking to learn more information out about catalytic converters, you've come to the right place. You can also go to our website, rrcats.com, that's rrcats.com. We have dozens of tips, tricks, prices, and pictures on catalytic converters so you can learn more about how to sell them. So let's talk about how to ship them to us or how to bring them to our yard. Here's a perfect example of a bunch of catalytic converters that have been prepared the right way. What is the right way? Tailpipes are generally cut off. We can see inside and all the way in there we can see that the honeycomb is intact. When the top pipe is cut off, this is a perfect example. You can look inside and see that a little bit is missing, so we might pay a little less than a full grade on a cat like this because we can see the pipe is off and it's clean and both sides, most of the material is still there. Now if you come to our yard with a cat and you don't have it cut off, don't worry. We'll take our shear and we'll cut it off. This way we can inspect it and we'll be able to see the honeycomb inside is intact as well. These are some tips on how to ship catalytic converters and how to cut them. We recommend having a clean sawzall, having the guard on, having a sharp blade that can cut through, digging it, rocking it back and forth, and it should cut relatively clean. We've also seen people like this gentleman here who used a torch to cut the pipe right off if this was a scrap car because they don't care about having a clean cut on it. So this torch cut will make a nice clean cut as well and it allows us to see inside of the cat. Things we don't recommend. This customer started to break the material up. Then you start to see it falling out like this. That's bad. We don't want the material inside falling out. We also recommend you do not Cut the cats open and sell us bags of loose material. We want to buy the cat in whole form. This way we know what it's off of. We can compare it in our database and we know how much to pay you based off of that cat. Once the material is taken out and it's put into a bag, a box, or a barrel, it all looks the same and we can no longer pay you a premium for whatever that catalytic converter is. Here we have a Honda Cat, which is a high-grade catalytic converter, an XL Foreign, and here we have an aftermarket. Well, they both have O2 sensors, they both have material inside, but if you cut this open and put everything loose into a barrel, it'll look the same. This might be a $200 cat, this might be an $800 cat. Well, this has double the comb that this does, but if you have it mixed together, you're only going to get a price per pound the same as the aftermarket because we don't know what it came from and we have to protect ourselves. If you have questions, any comments or ideas that you need us to answer about your catalytic converter, make sure to email us or shoot us a message through our website rrcats.com. I'll talk to you later.